what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what? You know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, holla at your boy when we get home. Yo, this is Deontay DeBron from the Wild, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb squad, man. All right, man. Andre Ward picks Caleb Plant. My stoppage over Canelo Alvarez. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. It's always a disclaimer when you know you got a guy like Andre Ward, who an OG in the game, a legend, a Hall of Famer now, and um, working with American fighters or working with fighters. There's always going to be a biasness there, you know, and it's hard. Excuse me, and it's hard to kind of shake that biasness. You know, when you know somebody, you have affection for somebody, y'all built a relationship. It's hard to uh it's hard to remain objective. But let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, my social media links in the description. You can always reach me at Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you want to advertise on the channel, video request, chop it up. He had a Facebook group for those who are wondering. The Facebook group got deleted. They disabled it over a comment that they wouldn't even let me see what was said. I guess I had to hop on the computer or whatever. So, like I said before, Facebook, man, I'm I'm leaning towards uh I'm leaning towards to kind of delete my Facebook, man. I'm honestly really am. I just want to get all my pictures off there, some of my family pictures off there, or whatever. But I'm leaning towards it. Just it's becoming, you know, like I said before, like YouTube when Google caught it, it became very corporate. I remember, like, I remember Donald was saying, Lion Kilo was saying they had, you know, adult movies on YouTube at one point, but you, you, Facebook has took it behind that point, you know, it has, but I mean, that's not the point. But other than that, man, best way you can help me comment, thumbs up the video, share the video, hit the bell icon, all notification, and um, yeah, hit that, all notifications, and uh, we'll move on, all right? So we're in a situation where Andre Ward, like I said, he is an OG in the game, and Caleb is guy. And maybe he's seen something in, in camp with Caleb that we hadn't seen, okay? And I think maybe he's seen, he seen something in Caleb at a point where in camp where he, he picked up on something, he got rhythm. I heard Caleb Plant wasn't looking good in some sparring, but that's sparring. T.O. don't look in the sparring. You hear about T.O. getting dropped. Damn near every day by a new spawn partner. Okay. And um and that is what it is. He says plant stops Canelo. He said, This is a great fight, a great opportunity for a fighter like Caleb Plant. I love this moment in his career. He fought solid competition. He has the look and makings of a fighter that can go to the next level, said Andre Ward to Max on boxing. He said he plant has to prove, prove it. I love these prove proven moments. He's getting the opportunity. Uh, against Canelo, November 6th. Trust me, it's not going 12. He said, quote, the thing about Caleb Plant, he couldn't land a sucker punch on Canelo in a press conference. Canelo defense is real. He's got to hit him in the ring. Now, Caleb Plant knows it's coming. Who do you who do you like in the fight, Caleb or Plant? That's Max Kellerman. He said, I'm I'm going with Caleb Plant. That's my brother. So right there, that's my brother. So I'm going to support him all the way. But he's got to prove it. He's got the ability. He's got the skills. But he has to got he has he got he's got to turn up. Andre Ward said, okay. Um and you know, ultimately, man, I think he got no chance. I really ain't. I'm gonna have that on my phone or on the laptop. To have UFC on the big screen. You know, and to me, to me, I just don't think he he possesses the the ability or the skill set to do so. He has to be he has to be aggressive and walk to Canelo. People always talk about the Floyd fight. You know, um, you know, he got to walk towards Canelo. That's what Floyd did. People talking about he ran. Floyd ran up on Canelo. The only running he doing. No, that's the only only running he doing, man. He ran right up on Canelo. 
And he Canelo couldn't beat him in the pocket. He pressured Canelo. Then when he wanted to move, Canelo couldn't do nothing when he moved. I think Canelo had more success when Floyd kind of went on the back foot and going laterally, man. I think he had more success when Floyd walked on him, walked to him. He couldn't do that and pay the plant. He has to walk to Canelo. Canelo defense ain't all of that. Trust me. It's not. You know, they make Canelo defense better than what it is. It's all an illusion. You know, and once you want walk up on him, if you got some issues, hit him, touch the chest. The chest is a bigger target. Touch the shoulders. Aim for the top of the head. That's how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Chest. You know what I'm saying? Trust me, Triple G didn't have a hard time finding him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to pressure this guy. And if you knew what I knew about the Triple G second fight, man, sound like somebody was point shaving. I'm joking. All right. But, you know, you, you got to walk to him. And if Floyd didn't have no issue finding him, you know, one, two. You know what I'm saying? He going he dipped it. He, he going he gonna to do his little fake head movement. He ain't James Tony. But I just don't think Caleb Plant, Plant, I think Plant going to run and try to win a decision. And that's his omission to just getting this check. And I think he should, he should, he, it's a difference between one running and boxing. He do running. When you up in the fight, you you outscoring a guy like Caleb Plant, all you're doing is moving and moving. And you won't go out there and, and attempt to finish the deal. So it's, it's different from Shakir Stevenson I talked about earlier. The thing with Shakir Stevenson is he not running, you know, not last night. He, he, he move with a purpose. He just don't. He just gonna keep doing what he's doing in the groove. Thing with Plant, you know, he be winning. And he just be doing unnecessary movement. He don't have no chance, bro. None. This is the only way he winning if they tell Canelo to take the dive. That's it. Caleb Plant has zero chance of winning this fight. You heard it here for zero chance. You heard Andre Ward. That's my brother, and that's why. That's my look. That's my brother. He know in the back of his mind, Caleb Plant getting stretched. You know, he can't help him. He can't save him. Caleb Plant just don't just he don't possess the grit. He don't possess the the dog. He got to show his dog grit, a chin, to be aggressive. Some things he ain't show. Even versus Uzutaki, he was dropping him. You know, that's the only fight I see him sit down in for real versus some proposition, and he kept moving. He, all he do is move or fight. That's all you do. Move, 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 move. And you exerting too much energy, bro. You, you don't see Floyd moving like that. And if he moving when he was young, he moving with, with, a, with an aggressive purpose. When you look at Caleb Plant, it's unnecessary. This nigga be a he dropped the opponent 10 times. He still be running around the ring. Like, dude, I hate this. I really looking at it, man. When I watch the true ex, I just hate his 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 style. I like him as a fighter, but I, I hate his style and I hate his mental makeup. When you go in there and fight Canelo, you got to think kill, kill, kill. You got to be the mama mentality. Rest in peace to Kobe, to Kobe my boy. You got to have a mama mentality. And I don't think that, uh, I don't think he possessed that aggressiveness. You know, but... Like I said before, man, like I said, I can't question Andre. Well, he he know more boxing than, than I ever would know times 10, but I think he just got an inside look on planning. There's some bias there still toward there, and I ain't mad at it. Us Americans need to stick together, bro, no matter what color you is. We need to stick together in the boxing community because Ukrainians and them, you know, Siberians and Russians, all of them sticking together, and they getting better and better and better. So you got to tighten up our craft. You got to be a network. Uh, we got to continue the network. So I hope Caleb playing win, honestly, but I don't, just don't see it. What uh future say? Ain't no way. Ain't no in way. I just don't see it in the cards. You know what I'm saying? So like I said before, this is what I believe. Let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out the Box News playlist. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And, you know, but we one week away. I think this weekend we got whole, uh, Vargas and Zepeda. I think Jamal James fighting. He wasn't on the schedule, but he fighting uh, in the half of the welterweight WA tournament. He fighting uh, Raz Hat, Bad Boo whatever his name is. But you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you want to advertise the channel, video request, shop it up. 
uh, whatever it may be, uh, going through something. Hit me up. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good Three One Three Venmo CJ Good Three One Three PayPal in the description. Appreciate the love and support. Uh, one time for the one time. Let me know what's in the comment section. Peace.